So I actually get a lot of questions from people working with the free version of SketchUp if you can actually render your SketchUp model. So I wanted to make a quick video showing you how you can do that for free. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, and so one thing I wanna note is we're not gonna be able to like live link this to an external application, right? Um, because that's usually done with extensions and extensions aren't really supported on the online version of SketchUp. But what we can do though, is we can download our model. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna download this file. So um, this is a model that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. It's just house by Zane S. And what we wanna do is we wanna download that and then bring it into a rendering program. So to do that, you can just click on this button right here and you just wanna go into download, click on the option for SketchUp right here. And you wanna select um, a version. It really doesn't matter. I usually try to use the newest version, at least when I start off, um, unless something doesn't work, then you can try one of the older versions. But we're gonna go ahead and click on okay. That's gonna download this file right here. So now you have the SketchUp file living on your desktop. And so the program that we're gonna use um, is a program that you can use for real-time rendering. It's called Twin Motion. And so you can use Twin Motion for free. So if you go to twinmotion.com, and um, I'm in the pricing page, but you can use Twin Motion for free as long as you're using it for non-commercial use. Or if you're just learning, you just can't do anything commercial with the images that you create. Um, but notice how you can click on this option for free trial over here. And you're basically going to get everything except for the full resolution exporting and the commercial license. But you can click on the button to download now. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna take you to a place where you can download the Epic Games Launcher and install it. All right, so when you open up the Epic Games Launcher, it's gonna look something like this. And what you wanna do is you wanna go over into the Twin Motion tab um, under Unreal Engine Twin Motion. And here, this is going to give you the option to download and install Twin Motion. For me, I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna click on Launch, but you can download and install it here. All right, and so once you open that up, it's gonna look something like this. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on the button to import file. And we're gonna go find that file just by clicking the option for geometry right here and clicking on open. And so if I look at my downloads, you can see how this house by Zane S is in here, ready to go. So I'm gonna double click on this. One thing we do wanna do is make sure that we uh, keep our hierarchy. You don't wanna collapse by material. You just wanna keep your hierarchy. That means that you can, uh, that means you can select the individual model objects inside of your model. But we're gonna go ahead and click on okay or import, and that's gonna bring your model in to twin motion. Okay, so this actually came in really good and we didn't have to do a whole lot of extra work. One thing I do wanna note about this is if you do need to make any changes to your SketchUp model, like geometric or anything like that, you're gonna to have to go back into SketchUp, make those changes and then re-download and re-import your model. So just be aware of that. That's kind of a limitation of working at the free version. But then from here, we can use the tools that are built in um, in order to set this up. So for example, for the siding, I could come in here and I could use the material libraries. And so you can come in here and you can replace the materials in here with materials from the library. And remember that you can adjust the size of the materials using the sliders down below. You can also use the vegetation tools in order to add trees. So for example, I'm gonna use the vegetation paint tools paint trees and so notice how if I try to use the vegetation scatter tools to scatter the grass I've got a bit of a problem because my ground plane is actually running under my paving right so I'm getting uh, I'm getting grass right here where I don't want it to so what I can do is I can go back and make this adjustment in SketchUp And then when you made that change, what you need to do is you need to go back and re-import with that new file that you've generated right here. And you can see how that's gonna be a little bit problematic because that kind of wipes out all of my trees and the stuff that I did. So that's why it's important to try to get all your materials and stuff right the first time because this doesn't have a live link back to the free version. But we could come in here and use the vegetation scatter tool to add long grass to our scene. And you may need to come in here with the eraser tool try to clean up your edges. They had a great tool for doing this that just like stopped working. And so now edges are kind of a pain inside of the program um, to get them right. So you might end up bringing in like a, 
custom piece of grass like this in order to fill in the edges, but we're gonna call this pretty close for what we're doing here. We'll go ahead and we'll repaint our trees in here really quick as well. All right, and then finally, we can use the HDRI environment settings. We'll go ahead and bring in a cloudy HDRI. Maybe this one right here, you can just drag it into your scene. Remember that you can rotate, adjust, the location of the HDRI like this, as well as changing things like the intensity. But then we're just gonna jump over into our media, add an image, and we want this to be path trace. So we're gonna go into the more settings. We're gonna set our renderer to the path tracer. We're gonna turn that on. I've got it on low for right now, but then we're also just gonna go into our lighting settings. We're gonna turn our exposure up a little bit like this. You can adjust the white balance of your scene and other settings as well, but then when you're done, we're going to go ahead, make sure we've refreshed this with our changes. But then when you're done, you can just come in here and you can export this image. Then once we've done that, we're going to click on the Start Export button, and we're just going to pick a folder, and we'll click on OK. And then that final image will look something like this. And you could obviously add like context and other things like that, but we were able to get a really good rendering just by bringing this in and replacing a couple of materials inside of Twinmotion. All right, so as long as you're not using this for commercial use, this workflow is 100% free and you can use it to render your models out of the free version of SketchUp. I'll link to some more Twinmotion tutorials on this page in case you're looking for some help with that. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.